Magandang araw, podmates. Tapos na ang eleksyon, magkakaroon na ng bagong Pangulo. To help us understand the various ways forward, we have with us Richard Haydarian, political analyst, professor, and author. Magandang araw sa'yo, Professor Haydarian. Kamusta, Howie? Please just call me Richard. So how do you think he will govern? Did he give any clues right. uh, during the campaign? If you look at Marcos, I think how he will behave is not only shaped by the past of the Marcoses, but also by a number of factors in the coming months and years. One is exactly what we're talking about, Howie, which is this dynamics with Duterte, with Arroyo, with all other power players who are part of the unit team. How they navigate their fault lines and competition, I think, will be a big factor in how far Marcos could go. For instance, uh, Howie, let's say Marcos would want to push for constitutional change. My sense is Marcos would want a much more centralized parliamentary system while perhaps the Duterte's would want a much more federalized, decentralized system. That could be a point of tensions. What compromise will they find? That's one factor, and I think it will be big. The second factor is um, the opposition. Let's go back to the opposition. As I said it, the pink movement is a toddler, but a super Bebo toddler. I mean, my goodness, it was just lunch in October, and within seven months, how we look at it, the pink movement is now... a uh, it has left an impression on the hearts and minds of countless Filipinos. Those grand rallies that we saw, the civic activism, the Gen Z who put us millennials to shame, right? By going door to door, right and left. You're talking about a whole army of volunteers. Even when they saw surveys saying, na baka wala nang chance talaga si Lenny, go pa rin sila. That kind of conviction and courage, if, Howie, if that is sustained, that toddler super bibo movement could become a force to reckon with. Maybe not next year, Maybe not two years from now, but who knows? Maybe it will be in position for midterms. The sense I have is much will also depend on the next move by Lenny. Will she make the necessary adjustments? Will she bring in a better strategy, a better narrative? Will she sustain the energy? I think if the opposition is strong, they could put pressure on Bombo Marcos uh, and even exploit the fault lines within the ruling regime. And the last factor, Howie, international players. I think uh, President Biden did the good job of, I think, becoming the first president to call Bongo Marcos right away, making it clear, we're not here to make enemies. Yes, we haven't had the best past. Yes, we understand you know, there are issues with good governance. Yes, you have courts cases in the U.S. and all. But at the end of the day, it's about the alliance. Hi, I'm Howie Severino. Check out the Howie Severino podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms.